finding Aldrich. Baseline cut off. Straight on three. And how about it for the senior? Wilson drains it. Lead is 10 again. Bowman Abbey's going to have to work for a good shot. It's McCoy. Shot clock down to seven. Into the corner. Wilson again. Yes! Second for the senior. Come on with points on the other end. McCoy and Simpson skying for the jam. And it's the freshman Davies. Crown the Prince with a flush. Belmont Abbey answers with a jam of their own. It's Mario Lacey, the sophomore from Cleveland. situation seven fouls have been committed by Belmont Abbey so one and one right now the Niners in the next foul the Niners only four fouls here in the second half Shepard across the timeline they're going to play out this entire shot clock defensively Belmont Abbey Matos on the left he's guarded by McCoy and now a steal into the backcourt Aldridge he'll bring it up the floor leave it for McCoy he was open didn't take the three Aldridge will to tie Good! 61-61 with 20 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. The Niners can hold for the final shot. And now in the front court, Jameer Young calling a timeout. Over to Halloran. Halloran driving to his right, trying to get to the baseline. Nothing stirring. Three seconds to shoot. Three point up for Halloran. It's good. They take the lead with 12 seconds remaining. Beating the shot clock. The first lead of the game for Belma Abbey comes on a three-pointer with 12 seconds remaining from Sean Halloran to beat the shot clock. They lead 68-67 from the charity strike. Quickly get the ball in. Ball's loose. Corner three-pointer is no good. Rebounded by Levi. Puts it up. No good. And the Crusaders have come all the way back and they take the win here on the opening day. They trailed majority of the game, but they took the lead when it mattered. Belmont Abbey comes away with a 68-67 victory inside the Wheeler Center. Halloran on the inbounds, clock down to four. Aldrich heaves it up, yes! with 0.2 seconds and Quest Aldridge at the buzzer the heave goes and he punches the ticket for Belmont Abbey for Thursday night so Anzac Roseno is going to start the overtime he'll jump center against Solomon as uh, Milos Subitza has not been available for most of the second half after leaving early in the half after getting a hit on his nose Niners get the tip Overtime underway. Rosetto posting up low left out to Matos. Now to Shepard. Right side to Jameer Young. Down low to Rosetto. Throws it back out top to Shep. Shep trying to get by Aldridge. The elbow goes left to Matos. Shot clock at eight. Good defense by Belmont Abbey. Now Shep a deep three. In and out no good. Rosetto trying to get the rebound. Couldn't get it. Missed time to jump. And here comes Belmont Abbey. Into the front court, Sean Halloran. He'll give it over to McCoy, over to Aldridge, now back to Halloran. Shot clock at 19, game time 61-61. Aldridge on the left, now to Hernandez in the left corner. Back out to Aldridge, he'll drive, find Halloran, right corner, three, good! Belmont Abbey leads, 64-61. A minute into overtime, and Halloran with that three, now has eight, now a steal by Aldridge, and he scores! He took it away from Shepard. And it's now 66-61, Belmont Abbey with 3.48 to go. Almost at a loss for words right now, Matt, but again, hey, you have to turn the page here for the Charlotte 49ers. And Jameer Young's going to be fouled by Halloran. Halloran double-team with Aldridge on Jameer. 
And uh, Jameer trying to hang on to the ball was knocked to the ground. And before he lost the handle, they called a foul. So he'll go to the free throw line. It's going to be a one and one. It's just team foul number eight on Belmont Abbey here in the second half. I almost get bailed out right there. Where the Charlotte 49ers and Jameer Young, but hey, and turn the page, clear your head, and, and act like you want to be here right now if you're the Charlotte 49ers. Now, big free throws. Jameer, it's a one and one. The lefty from Maryland, his shot is up and good. That's a big one right there. As he has been struggling, that hopefully will maybe get him going here in overtime. 66 62. One more for Jameer. And this one is good. He's got 18. Niners now trail by three. Back to a one possession game. But Belmont Abbey playing with a lot of confidence. 66 63. Halloran goes right, gets it to Aldridge. Now to LJ McCoy, guarded by Matos, who fights through a screen. Pass to Halloran, knocked away, but he recovers. Is Shepard got a hand on it? Now 10 to shoot. Halloran gets around at the left elbow. Shepard blocks his shot out of bounds with seven remaining on the shot clock and 317 on the game clock. Yeah, Matt, uh, Matt uh, Halloran, he's got this crazy look in his eyes right now. He's like, I want the basketball in my hand in crunch time right now. Under the basket, he gets three. Shepard blocked his shot. Halloran gets it back, though. Four to shoot out to McCoy. Here's a three. Got it in a foul. Matos hit him as LJ McCoy drained the high arcing three as the clock was about to run out. And a chance now to four point play as the lead is six with 3.11 to go for the Crusaders. That's the toughest defense right there late in the shot clock. You know you have to contest the shot, but you know he's going to get it up as well. And you're, you're trying your best to recover from being a little late as well if you're Jerry Matos and, and got there a tad bit late, of course, and then had to uh, overcompensate for that. Well, put his hand up there and got a little too much of the body. And here we go, Matt. This is a crunch time for the Niners. No, uh, no messing around right here. No turnovers uh, uh, can be done. Or it looks like the Crusaders can run away with this. And the free throw. It's a four-point play. Niners just turned the ball over again. Shepard threw it across the floor looking for Young, and he threw it away. And the Niners are totally out of sync. Coach Sanchez wants a timeout. Belmont Abbey has the Niners off their game big time. And Williams at the half court line. They're going to try and get somebody free. They throw it into Shepard. He's going to let it heave. Half court, it's no good. It got out of his hand in time, but did not hit the backboard off to the left side. And Belmont Abbey has come in here to Halton Arena. From the south to the southeast, and the top seed in this region belongs to Belmont Abbey. Winners of eight straight, the Conference Carolinas champion took down top seed at Emanuel earlier today, knocking down 30 of 49 shots in the contest. Just another day of work for one of the more efficient offenses in the country. That earns them a bye. <laughs> Aldridge will throw it in. No, Hollerin, that was a that was a move of good sportsmanship right there. He could have scored another basket, but instead chose to let the time run off the clock. And the Belmont Abbey Crusaders are your 2021 Conference Carolinas men's basketball champion congratulations to the crusaders it was a wonderful night they just shot lights out all game long especially on that baseline yeah sean halloran and lj mccoy led the way for the crusaders with 14 points apiece